Our walk today is Ranadale Knots. On many occasions, people have informed me that their sons or daughters would like to walk the fells for the first time. Great, I think. The parents then ask, what in my opinion is the best fell to start on? Well, some of you will already be thinking cat bells. I do not. The reason being, it has too many false summits and this can put children off walking for life. But Ranadale Knots is an ideal beginner fell. Not too high, the summit can be reached in a reasonable time and the views for such a small fell are just stunning when the sun is shining. Let's give it a go. Please keep your eyes and ears open for traffic and if you have young children, hold their hands. It's only for approximately 50 yards. Your children and you are walking a fell. At this point, take the path to the left, as the right one is the route up to Whiteless Pike, maybe waiting for your next adventure. The rain and clouds are coming in, but you can see Buttermere from a quarter and Lowe's water just before the rain come. What children don't like a scramble? It's very easy, but they will think they have climbed a mountain. The younger children may have had enough by now, so if you wish, you can retrace your steps. I guarantee they will sleep tonight. But if your children are a little older and wearing walking boots and are looking for more excitement, then let's descend via another route. It is steeper than the ascent, but has a good constructed footpath. Just look for this path. It is thought that an early Celt settlement was located across Crummock Water until it became too wet and they moved to where the Buttermere village is now. If you drove to Buttermere from Lawton, you will have encountered the rock buttress and the metalled road jutting out onto the edge of Crummock Water. This road was constructed in the early 1950s. Until then, this was the track to Buttermere. Notice the wear of the carriage wheels of the day, going up and over, now known as the Secret Valley of Buttermere.
During the Norman conquest, the Normans knew of a Celtic settlement near here, but were uncertain of the location. Not having any boats and the lake being a barrier, they made an attempt following Squad Beck. Legend has it that was their downfall, as the locals were ready for them. On both sides of the valley, an ambush. It is said that the bluebells grow here so well because of the ground is fertile with the blood of the Norman soldiers. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am a little disappointed with the weather, but I can assure you the views are fantastic with better conditions. I hope if you take your children that it will inspire them to want to walk more and even higher fells. I have many more videos on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and press the notification button.
to see the present and future videos. Thank you.